Welcome to our tutorial on the projection command. Let's start by activating the projection command and exploring its definition dialog window. Under projection type, we've got two options, normal and along a direction. Let's select normal. In the projected selection box, we're going to select this curve. Under support, let's select this surface. Click preview and OK. Now let's run the curve connect checker. Let's start from the original curve. As you see, we have no problems with either tangency or curvature. Basically, it's a single continuous line. But if I select the projected line we just created, we obviously have some problems here. The curvature discontinuity is 51% at this point. The tangency seems to be okay. Let's cancel out of the Curve Connect checker. Let's double click on Project.1. In the Smoothing Definition area, we've got three options None, Tangency, and Curvature. Let's select Curvature. Deviation will leave at the point 001 and click OK. Let's run the analysis again. Curvature first. Select our curve. Both look good now. Tangency as well looks good. Let's see, perhaps we can enhance our spline even more. Let's check the 3D smoothing option this time. This type of smoothing is calculated without specifying any particular surfaces. Let's click OK. And then run the Curve Connect Checker analysis. I'm going to select this line. As you see, we now have one continuous line. Let's cancel out of our Curve Connect Checker analysis. The smoothing option doesn't always work. You actually need to have pretty smooth surfaces to begin with. I'm going to run another analysis. I'll select this surface. You see here, the surface is actually quite smooth to begin with. Let's cancel out of this analysis for now. Let's make some changes. Double click on Connect.1. You see that between this point and this point, we have curvature continuity. I'm going to change this to Tangency and click OK. Now let's run the porcupine curvature analysis on this surface again. You can see that we don't have smooth transitions here or here. Let's go check how our line is doing. Select the curve. Surely enough, we have some problems now with curvature continuity as well as with the tangency. There's two points that I'm trying to illustrate here. Our example shows that continuity can be lost during the projection process. Let's cancel out of the Curve Connect checker for now. When we implement the smoothing function, it doesn't always correct the problem. Basically, the underlying or support surface needs to be smooth to start with. Let's click OK. And this concludes our tutorial on the projection tool.